Welcome back to Coffee Time. Today we're going to look at another app uh, that I use pretty much daily. Um, and I'll talk to you about a second app that I use just briefly in conjunction with that. Normally these videos look at how we can use websites and apps in the classroom with students. And this app is able to do that. But I find this app for me more uh, conducive to looking at how I connect with my PLC, how I learn more about my own craft and how I share with others about that craft. And I'm talking about the app called Zeit, the Zeit magazine. So if you want to grab a cup of coffee, uh, get comfortable, we'll take a look at that app. I have on my iPad here the, uh, the folder called Reading. And I have a few apps in here where I go to uh, read different things. And when I started off pulling in uh, things to the iPad, uh, I originally started with Flipboard. That, that was one of the very first magazine apps for the iPad. It pulled in my Facebook uh, feed, it pulled in my Twitter feed, it pulled in magazine articles, and those kinds of things. And then I found Zeit. <clears throat> now, in Zeit, when the first time you open it, you're going to get this choice of uh, picking some categories that you want to know more about. And I don't just limit myself to education here. I'm looking at politics. Uh, you'll see I've got arts and culture, um, technology, some gadgets. And then I've also got food and cooking. And, uh, of course, news from Apple. Um, a photography group, healthy living. And then finally over here, education. <clears throat> also within this, you can see that I could come over here and enter my own <clears throat> search term so that I could uh, create and pull in things that are tagged with that information as well. Um, I can connect this through some other services. Um, I have my Twitter feed in here. I have my Google Reader feed in here. So some of the things that I'm seeing in those two areas, I'm also seeing in Zite, but I'm not limited to that. <clears throat> because I don't use Delicious, I use Digo. Um, that's not an option for me at the moment. And Pocket is an app that allows you to save articles to read later. Uh, and so, I, and I don't subscribe to that yet, maybe one day. So we'll skip that and we'll come over here. We will tell this that we're done and it will bring in um, all of the latest articles. And it's updated throughout the day. So I could look at it now and I could look at it in a couple of hours and it will have added new stories here. <clears throat> the splash page gives me on the right hand side. It gives me the, tab, the, the tabs for all of the areas that I've chosen to look at. And if I were to come down here and tap on the one for education, it will open up all of these articles and I can just swipe from one page to the next looking for articles that are of interest to me. Uh, and if I spot one, now let's just come back here and pretend like I do, 12 YouTube videos every educator should view. Well, that sounds interesting. So I just tap that and it brings it up in a reader. Um, and I can scroll through the reader. Um, some YouTube videos, of course, will play. Others that are still in Flash will not. Um, but you'll also see some options here that make this interesting. Now, there is an option over on the right. Did I enjoy reading it? Yes or no. And if I choose yes, they're going to find more articles similar to this one. If I choose no, then they're going to find fewer articles that are like this one. Um, and I don't use that a lot, and I'll tell you why. One of the reasons is if, I'm afraid that if I personalize it too much, I will only find articles that I like. And I also, in, I also need to read articles or viewpoints from people that I don't necessarily agree with or that, um, you know, subject matter perhaps that I don't appreciate because that helps to keep me balanced. It helps to keep me thinking. So I don't, I don't rank that a lot. However, I could tell it that I want it to give me more about education technology or more about 21st century learning, or I could tell it that I want to find more articles from this author. Um, and so all of those things are there. Also, if you look down at the bottom, I have several ways to share this. I can share it immediately to my Twitter account and, and send it out as a tweet. I can also post it to my Facebook wall, uh, and uh, I've, I've logged out of that since then, so we won't go there. I can send it as an email if I want to. 
um, and send that link to various people that I know. And let's delete that. Or you'll also see the icon for Pocket, which I don't have uh, done, but I could, I could save this to come back and read it later. Also down at the very bottom of the, of the screen, you'll see a link that says, I can click this and open it in Safari. And I'll tell you why that's interesting for me. Um, because once I've read an article that I like, if I am in Safari, and, and you'll see that this is the full-blown blog, not just a recap, Sometimes in the Zeit article, you'll get just a little bit, and you need to open the article up to see the rest of it, uh, depending on how that's done. But in, on my iPad, I have another app. I'm going to come up here and show that to you very quickly. And that's called the Buffer app. Um, and I learned about this from uh, Richard Byrne from Free Technology for Teachers and Andrew, uh, Angela Myers, to get the name right, uh, in a webinar that they were doing. And if I just click on here to add it to buffer, uh, it should come up and you'll see that I could type in some other things. And I have my uh, Twitter account on the left and my Facebook account, account next to that. And if I just wanted to send it to one, I would disconnect the other. But if I click add, what this is going to do is it's going to put that in a buffer and it's going to send it out to Facebook and Twitter later in the day. One of the things that I find, especially on Twitter, that gets to be annoying for me is to find people who will send out 15 tweets in a row of different articles that they've read and they take up my whole feed and they're, they're just in the way and I would rather space that out. So this will go to my Twitter feed at one point during the day and it'll go to my Facebook feed at another point of the day and I'm sharing that with my readers in a way that um, they don't get annoyed with me. And so I use the Buffer app for that. And once I'm finished with that, I can just go straight back into Zite, and I can close that article, and I can keep looking. Uh, if I want to go back to home, I just click that. brings me back over here to all of the things on the uh, right-hand side of my screen, and I can continue reading through the articles. Um, you'll see um, some pages... Uh, if you'll notice down at the bottom of this page, there are a number of dots. That's how many pages there are. And you'll see that, that that dark gray dot is going through to show me how many pages of information is here. Sometimes there's very little information. Sometimes there's a lot of information. So I use Zite on a regular basis. Uh, I pretty much read it every day. Um, I, I don't read every article, but I look through. I see things that are I think are interesting to me, and I'll, I'll pull it up and look at it. And uh, it's surprising the number of times that I run across blog posts from people that I know um, and, and respect, and I, and I enjoy seeing their name in there. I don't think mine's been in there yet, uh, maybe one day. So as you're looking at ways to connect knowledge uh, as a teacher, I think Zite is a great way to do that. It is, it's pulling, again, with Web 2.0, Web 3.0. We are letting the information come to us. We don't have to go out and find it. It's coming to us. And I can go in and, and read this in the morning. If I have time, I might read it again in the afternoon, uh, when I get home at night, or I can just read it first thing in the morning every day, and it's brand new information. It's like getting a newspaper delivered to your front door every single day. So I suggest, I, I strongly recommend that you download the Zite app, take a look at it, see if there's things in there that you might like. I've uh, not only uncovered a lot of stuff about education, learn some new things about Apple products, uh, but I've also found some really great recipes and uh, trying to live more healthy. So uh, in the meantime, enjoy some coffee and uh, we'll see you next time.